The main objective of this project is to build IoT based temperature control, fan using known NCU ESP8266 and Blink Cloud for home automation. This device will be able to control new AC home appliances like AC, fan, heater, cooler, or even light bulb, etc. Suppose you came from work, enter the room, and feel hot. After a while, you want to cooler or fan to be on automatically. And then often the room temperature is back to normal. If you are searching for such a project, then you are in the right place. Nowadays, technology is advancing and houses are getting smarter. Modern houses are usually shifting from conventional switches to some kind of IoT based centralized control system. In this project, we will use the ESP8266 node NC double main board or DST11 or DST22 temperature and humidity sensor and a relay module to control the fan or cooler automatically. Based on the room temperature, we use the Blink IoT effort monitoring the DST11 or DST22 sensor temperature and humidity data and set temperature thresholds. When temperature rises above the threshold temperature, the cooling fan connected to a relay will start automatically. This temperature based automatic fan control system comprises components like the ESP8266 board, relay, and temperature sensor. The entire system depends on the relay and DHT11 or DHT22 sensor. As the temperature rises, the relay will be turned on, and if the temperature drops below the threshold value, then relay will be turned off. Hence, the appliances attached to the relay will also turn on and off accordingly. Here, we have used a fan as an appliance for demonstration purposes. We can see the temperature threshold value as well as monitor the temperature and humidity of our room from the Blink app remotely. Therefore, the project hardware and smartphone both should be connected to the internet. When the node MCO ESP8266 board receives the temperature threshold value, it compares with the DST temperature value and it starts triggering the relay accordingly. The components required for making an IoT based temperature control system are node MCO ESP8266 development board. DST11 or DST22 temperature and humidity sensor, single channel relay module, 2 volt DC fan, 2 volt battery pack or adapter, few jumper cables and bed board. Now, without doing any delay, let's get into the circuit connection. The circuit diagram of IoT based temperature control fan using ESP8266 and Blink is very easy to understand. Here we are controlling a relay using ESP8266 and DST11 or DST22 sensor for simple automation. You can easily assemble a circuit diagram following the circuit diagram and pins connection table. This will help you to interface all the components to the node MCU ESP8266. Now, download this Blink application from the Play Store or App Store available for both Android and iOS. Sign up to the Blink IoT Cloud using your email address and password. Now, click on the new project. Give your project a name. I am giving the IoT Automatic Fan. Select the node MCU board and then set the connection type as Wi-Fi. Finally, click on Create button. The Blink Authentication token will be sent to your email address. We will need it later on in programming. Tap on the plus icon on your main screen. Add Superchat widget. Now, add two gadgets, then we will add numeric input widgets. We will also add one LED widget for an indicator. Click on the super chat widget and give it a name. Also, add temperature and humidity data streams to virtual pin V1 and V2 respectively. You can do further customization according to your name. Now, come back to the main dashboard to configure two gauges. One will show you the temperature values and other will show you the humidity. For temperature, we will select the virtual pin V1 and we will see the value from 0 to 100. You can also set the colors for these gauges. Now, we will do for the humidity level. We will select the virtual V2 pin and we will select the values from 0 to 100. For threshold value, we will use the virtual pin B3 and B0 pin for LED indicator respectively. That's it with the application setup. Now, join your app looks like this. 
The complete original source code of this project is involved in the description of this video. Now, let me explain how this source code works. Here, I have included all the required library header files. They define the DST sensor pin to D5. For the demonstration, I am using the DST22 sensor. If your sensor is DST11, comment on the DST22 part and uncomment DST11. We also define Relay pin to D2 similarly, a widget LED pin is also defined to the virtual V0 pin according to the Blink app configuration. Replace the Blink authentication token and Wi-Fi network. Credentials with yours. Three different variables, HUM DST and TAM DST and VAL are defined as a port and integer type. We initialize DST sensor. In the setup part, we initialize the serial monitor. DST sensor test and blink server connection. In this part of the code, we read the temperature threshold value from the blink app and assigning incoming values from pin D3 to a variable. We also print this value on a serial monitor. In the loop part of this code, we check the blink server connection then wait 2 seconds to read temperature and humidity parameters from the DST sensor. Print those values on the serial monitor. Now, the program compares the threshold value from blink and DST temperature value and triggers the relay accordingly. Lastly, it will publish the temperature and humidity data to the blink cloud every 2 seconds. Now, copy this program code from the website link available on the description of this video and paste it on your Arduino IDE. You can make your necessary changes like Wi-Fi, SSID password and blink authentication token. Now. Choose your node NCU ESP8266 2L E double main board and COM port from the tools menu. Just hit that compile button and upload the code to the ESP8266 node NCU. After successful upload of the program, enjoy your modern temperature control IoT fan using your NCU and Blink platform. Here is the short demonstration of this project. Here we fake the temperature value by providing some heat source to the DHT sensor. Now, you can see the automatic on and off of the fan based on temperature value. So that's all about this project. I hope you found this project useful. If it was helpful, hit the like button and drop a comment below. Subscribe to this channel for more interesting and exciting projects. Stay healthy, stay safe.